What is up? Time for another legit food review. This time, we're going to be talking about fucking Hajime te no Gal. Let me tell you something. I fucking love Garus. If you don't know what a Garu is, here's a fuck picture of a Garu. Garus are fucking hot as shit. I fucking love them. You can't not deny the truth. I am a man of pure passion. Uh, <laughs> no, but let's get serious here. I love this show. And the thing is, it sucks. It sucks that it took me this long to actually enjoy the show. I, I, I initially watched the show from episode 1 to 4 and fucking hated it because of our main character, Junichi. Junichi, to me, is kind of one of the worst fucking characters. I hated him. I hated how their relationship started. But after episode 4, it genuinely got really interesting. Because he genuinely... Because his character at the very beginning, he was trying to go after Yuna. Yuna being, you know, this... Uh, uh, not Yuna. Uh, it's uh, Yume. Yume. He, he, he goes after this girl. Because his friends fucking force him to to do it so he can lose his virginity because his friends thought, hey, look, Gatos are fucking easy fucking pussy. And you know what? That's the thing I fucking love about Gatos. You know, they genuinely have, like, this really, like, slutty appearance, this slutty attitude and everything, but underneath, they can be the most genuinely beautiful and kind people. And that's what the show is to me. Yume is not... A fucking stupid ass Garu. She she finds the beauty in just normal fucking people, and that's what I love about her. Her character. She looks as a she can be fucking dressed as a slut and everything like that from her school clothes and everything. But other than that, like she's a genuinely nice character. She's genuinely cute, and she genuinely has this idea of she's not gonna like judge you first before she talks to you she genuinely likes to get to know people and actually meet them as a character and meet them she's so pure and innocent and that's what i love about her she has a slutty attitude and everything like that but she's genuinely sweet and kind and that's what makes it so fucking good to fucking watch this show the reason i don't like it well the reason i didn't like the show was because of fucking junichi and how and his close group knit of friends who obviously should be fucking put in jail uh, especially his fucking fat so friend over there, the fucking, fucking child molester motherfucker. I don't know how the fuck they let this kid fucking teach kindergarten and talk to kids like he's gonna be fucking them. Like, fuck's sake, man. I hate this show. I hate that about this show. But either way, <laughs> I, I may, like, I may hate it, but that's because of the initial reaction I had to it. Because I went off from going, I went off from watching, uh, uh, Galco. Um, I, I forgot the actual full name, but Galco, you know, I watched that show and I genuinely enjoyed that because it was kind of like, she's not slutty. She's a genuinely nice and cute individual that does genuinely care about people. And, you know, like it was kind of like a subversion of like what a Garu stereotype is. And that's what I fucking loved about her. But in Hajime, in Hajime Te no Gal, you know, I, I, at first I was like, wow, this shit's fucking dis disgusting but as you slowly as you get past you know episode four and all the kind of like it felt like harem bullshit happening where you had uh two more gadus come in and just trying to steal junichi because they wanted junichi for their own reasons it actually got interesting afterwards because junichi didn't fall for these girls junichi actually started to care about Yume and genuinely fucking love her. Like, at one point, he fucking saw her and it looked like she was cheating on him with an old friend from middle school. And, and, and pretty much, he, he genuinely was fucking hurt. Like, he, he was walking home from school the next day. No, not home from school. He was going to school the next day and pretty much he... He, he was questioning why he, he liked her. He was questioning if Yume was actually fucking, you know, fucking playing with him and toying with his emotions and feelings. He genuinely hurt fucking Yume without actually knowing about it by simply saying, look, I don't want you fucking toying with my emotions anymore. I don't 
you know, I saw you with your fucking friend the other day. I don't want you to fucking be playing with me because I'm a simple fucking individual. I'm like a stupid fucking kid, okay? I'm a fucking pervert, and I, I, I understand that about myself. I don't want you playing with my emotions like this. And she was genuinely hurt because she didn't actually do anything. So, and you see, like, he genuinely starts to tear up a little bit and starts, you know, has, like, that single, like, manly, you know, that single tear cry in, like, Hollywood movies. He's genuinely hurt by it. And he hurt her because he didn't understand the situation. And it was like, wow, this is actually an interesting show. This is actually making me very interested and very compelled and intrigued into these characters. And that's what I loved about the show. It was genuinely, he genuinely cared about her. You know, when, like, when they went over to, like, uh, fucking Yume's house, he, he brought a bunch of his friends over, the perverted ones, and then, like, two, two others, and they all played a game. And his friends uh, devised a plan for him to actually kiss, kiss Yume. And he was like, no, I'm not gonna have any of this. I'm generally not gonna have any of this. So he fucking fucked with, he, he tampered the system up, and he, he literally saved his girlfriend from having to kiss him and kissing other people. Like, it was a genuine, it was a genuine moment and it felt fucking great. And for her to be like, Kenichi, thank you for saving us. I'm like, damn, this is a good ass show. You know, like, I genuinely enjoyed it. At first, I, f I couldn't get over it and it took me months. Literally, the show came out in, I think, July or something. And literally, I just got to finishing it now when I'm recording this, which is, you know, the 21st of November. This genuine show, like, I felt a genuine connection to the characters after F episode 5 and 6. Because I genuinely started caring. I genuinely wanted their relationship to work out with Junichi and Yume. And I, it was such a good time. It was genuinely a good time to watch. I, I would actually recommend people watching this show if you can get past the four episodes or five, the, the four or five episodes it takes to start getting into the genuine care and emotion that goes on with these characters. Because the biggest thing that put me off at the very beginning was Junichi, his perversions, and all this shit. But afterwards, he genuinely starts loving her, and that's what made the show great for me. It's not like gamers, where gamers went into that harm territory. Here, literally, the show used one I, one of my favorite moments, one of my favorite moments to to emphasize that this is not going to be a harm that he genuinely is going to be getting along, getting with this girl, and that was episode eight with its fantastic cinematography at the very end, where you know you have Junichi and Yume talking to each other on the beach. And then you have uh, Ranko and the other fucking Garus, you know, lighting fireworks. That scene was so amazing. Like I'm, I was happy actually watching that scene because it made it actually was like it was actually directed competently, and it was great. And it showed that you know, you no, know, that these people, these these other Garus that are trying to go over here and trying to s separate fucking Junichi and Yume. It shows that, you know, they kind of just lost hope in actually trying to do that because they finally understand that they can't really do anything about Junichi and Yume. And that's what's, that was so great about the show. It proved that I can actually enjoy a fucking shitty show and get past its fucking problems and enjoy what it actually has to offer. I love Garus. I love the premise here. I hated the beginning. But genuinely, this show is phenomenal. What are your opinions down in the comments below? I would, like, what would you actually kind of, if you watch this show, tell me what you, what you would rate it. Because I would genuinely rate it like a 7 out of 10. Yeah. It's slightly above average in my opinion. It's slightly above average because of its ending, but the reason it's so kind of slight, it's only a slightly above average, is its introduction and its beginnings. Because the beginnings are just, you know, it wasn't appealing, it was just, uncompetent it was you know not fun to watch and how hard it pushed me off the show after that you know going watching the rest of the series it was genuinely worth the time and effort put into it Whoa!